So in this lesson, we're going to be using Google Workspace to set up our business email address. So a business email address is an email that uses your domain name. So in the last lesson, we purchased our domain name. Um, so for example, for me, it's jordanoutside.com. So if I want to have the email addresses, for example, jordan at jordanoutside.com or info at jordanoutside or support at jordanoutside.com, I need to have a business email address set up. Also, um, in the future, when we get into actually setting up marketing funnels, in order to, to send out mass emails to your list, you're going to need a business email address. So instead of just setting up like a regular Gmail or Yahoo or Hotmail, you need to have the business one at your domain name. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how this is done. Now, I've already set up my business email. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do this using a misspelling of my domain name. And so you can see what the process is like and how easy it is. Now, the best part here is that uh, with Google Workspace, they give you 14 free days to try it out. So really, you've got nothing to lose. Um, and I'm going to show you how to get this set up. So the first thing we're looking at is the prices. And this is per month for the different plans. So business starter is $6 per month, business standard is $12 per month. Typically, like when I'm just starting out, I go with the business starter, and if I need more storage, then I upgrade to business standard, which gives me two terabytes of cloud storage versus the 30 gigs of cloud storage. So for my business, um, all the videos that I record, all the uh, thumbnails and images and everything I put into my cloud storage. So if I get up to that close to 30 gigs and I need more, I can always upgrade to $12 a month to get that two terabytes. So in this uh, lesson, I'm going to show you how to do the business starter. So, uh, but just choose which, whichever one you think is going to be best for you. So you click the get started button. Okay. So the first thing it's going to ask for is your business name. And actually I'm doing the misspelling of my domain name. So I'm going to do Jordan outside with an O and seven A. Number of employees is just me, and I'm in the United States. Then I click Next. So for your current email address, they just want to be able to send you um, the information to an existing email address. So you can use just one of your regular free ones. Once you've done that, you click Next. And then it's going to ask, does your business have a domain? So we just purchased a domain name in the last lesson. So I can say, yes, I have one I can use. Okay, what's your business domain name? So now I'm going to put it in. I'm not going to put www or anything like that. I'm just going to put it in. So I'll type in J O R and I'm using a misspelling. So I'm doing D O N outside.com. Okay, so I've got jordanoutside.com. Click next. Use this domain to set up the account, jordanoutside.com. Email sent to jordanoutside won't, won't be affected until you set up email with this account. So for example, if I already had a different email service on this, it's just saying that it won't affect it um, until after I set this up. So let's click next. So how do I want to sign in? So I'm going to create a username. So jordan at jordanoutside.com. And then I'm going to create a password. It needs at least eight characters. And then I'm just going to check this box that I'm not a robot. And I'm going to agree and continue. Okay, so now it's going to show me the payment plan. It says review on your payment plan. Try Google Workspace free for 14 days. So I'm on the flexible plan, which is $6 per month. No long-term long contract. I'm going to pay each month and I can add or remove users as needed. I don't have a promo code, so I'm going to click next. Okay, so now I'm on the checkout page. So when you get to the checkout page, you just enter your information. And then I'm just going to click next. Okay. It says your Google workspace account has been created, ready to set up your business account and get Jordan at Jordan outside working with Gmail. We'll walk you through each step. So I'm going to click continue to set up. Welcome to the admin console. Click next. Okay. It says, welcome. Let's set up Google workspace in just a few steps. You'll be set up with Gmail and other apps. So even though it's the business version, they still refer to it as Gmail, but, uh, but this Google admin is only for Google workspace. 
So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna click activate to route our emails to our uh, inbox. So activate. Okay, it says sign into your domain host to activate Gmail. So basically Gmail or um, Google Workspace is a service and in order for them to send from your domain name, they need to be able to sign in one time to whichever service you use to purchase your domain. So in this case, it says we've detected that your domain host is GoDaddy. Click below to sign in with your GoDaddy credentials. So I'm gonna click sign in to activate. So this box pops up with GoDaddy. And it says click connect to authorize Google to enable this service. So basically what they're gonna do is they're gonna add um, all of the MX records. MX records are the records that they use to send and receive email. And uh, so let's click connect. It says we're activating Gmail. Okay, it shows that we have less than a minute remaining, so we'll let this finish up. Okay, occasionally everything's not gonna go as planned. It says there's a problem updating settings in GoDaddy. Please try again or choose an, another verification method. So let's do this one more time. Sign in to activate. Okay, for some reason that time it went through. Uh, it looked like everything was right on the first time but it says, welcome, let's set up Google Workspace. So Gmail's activated for jordanoutside.com. And now we're gonna create new users. So let's click Create. So this part's really important to differentiate between users and aliases. So each user that you have, you'll get charged that $6 or $12 per user after your 14 day free trial. So in my case, I only use one user, which is me. And then I'm gonna use aliases. So aliases allow me to add multiple email addresses that all link to mine. So I can add info at Jordan Outside, sales at Jordan Outside, support at Jordan Outside, and they all come to my Jordan at Jordan Outside inbox, and I don't have to pay for these extra email addresses. So aliases are really important. I'll show you how to set those up too. So let's click continue. Okay, it says create new users for your team. So it shows that I already exist. So I don't need to add another user. I'm good just like this. So click continue. I just went through this, but apparently because I'm not adding any additional users, I can just click skip for now. Okay, so I've got all the important things set up. I'm verified, my account is activated. I don't need to add new users. And so if I click over here on the left in this main menu, uh, I can go to the home. And then you'll see this is my dashboard, users, groups, um, devices, billing, security, apps. So this is where I can organize everything. And then we've got um, this Google Apps block up here. And so if I wanna go to my Gmail, I can click Gmail. And here it is. I, it says, see what's new in Gmail, get started. Next, so it just takes you through a tour of all the features that you're gonna get. And then it gives you tips, how to get the Gmail app, and then uh, my Google Workspace billing information was received. Basically meaning um, I've got a 14 day free trial to, to check this out. Um, and then, okay, so I see that everything's working. I can compose, I can basically get started and just test everything out. But what I wanna do next is I wanna add additional email addresses, those aliases that we were talking about that are free, that I don't need additional users. So to get back, I'm gonna click on this Google Apps box up here, and then I wanna to go to uh, the admin. So I'm gonna click admin. And this takes me back to the Google admin for my Google Workspace. And I'm gonna to go to users. And you'll see that I'm right here, so I'm gonna click and then I'm gonna to go to user information, and then you're gonna see this alternate email address. And this is where I can add uh, additional aliases that if someone sends to that email, for example, let's, uh, let's add support at Jordan Outside, and let's add info at Jordan Outside, education, at Jordan Outside. So there's three aliases, so I don't have to pay anything extra. If anyone sends an email to support at Jordan Outside, it will go to my 
Jordan at Jordan Outside. So I don't have to have multiple uh, inboxes. Um, and I've got these three additional aliases that will all route to me. So once I've added these in, I go over and click Save. So you can see we've got our aliases set up. I could add more if I wanted to. We have our primary email, jordan at jordanoutside.com set up. And so I've got my business email set up now through Google Workspace. And uh, this is super simple to use if you've ever used a Gmail account. Um, when it comes to actually, let me click here, go to Gmail. It's just like using your regular Gmail where you click compose, you can send the email, you can add attachments. Um, if I go to this box, I've got my Google Docs, Sheets, Slides, my Google Drive. So you've got everything, all the tools that you're, you're used to, but it's in a business format, so it makes you look professional. And then in the future, when you're actually doing marketing for your, uh, your business, you're gonna need that, uh, that professional email address to be able to do email marketing. So that's it for this lesson. You've got your business email set up, you've got those aliases set up, and you're good to go as far as a business email uh, setup perspective. So I'll see you in the next lesson.